Welcome back to my Final Fantasy XIV drama series. Today's drama story is about Red Flag Rena. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So my story starts a year and a half ago, back in March. My ex, let's call her Rena, and I started dating and all was going well, or so it would seem. I was single and I have never dated and I'm in the Navy and she just got out of a relationship with her ex. But nonetheless, we started chatting and getting to know each other. We talked about some likes and dislikes. My friends told me that some of the things Rena didn't like was a red flag, but I decided to ignore it. First, she said she hated people who are dark night mains. Second, she hates speedrunners with a passion. Third, she hated players with a Legends title. Oh no, if you did an ultimate... If you got an ultimate title, she didn't like you. And yes, I fit that bill to all three. I am a Dark Knight main, and I cleared my third ultimate, that being T, and I speedrun other games. And Final Fantasy XIV, I play on the side. <laughs> wow, what's with the Dark Knights? Yeah, I don't know. What is this hate with the Dark Knights? I wonder who hurt her. <laughs> At the time, I was raiding still, so I had time to be home from work, especially with COVID happening. Some time passed by and we both eventually started working at a venue. On one particular night, I and three other guys from the venue had made a joke in the Crossworld link shell. I felt like my joke wasn't offensive, but she took it upon herself to single me out for it as to make it an example out of me. The others in the Crossworld link shell took a slight offense to that since it was uncalled for and unprofessional. But I was the bigger man and just eased the situation and calmed things down. But unfortunately, that conversation in the venue's crossworld link shell became the venue's downfall after that night. I felt that it was Rena's plan and she must have felt quite happy that the venue closed down after that convo. Some time had passed by and Rena and I were still talking from time to time until she started distancing herself from me. She used the excuse to say, I'm too busy or hanging out with other friends. I hardly asked her if she wanted to hang out since I was busy with raiding. Months passed and I went back to work since I was cleared and lucky. I was still close to home and was able to raid and such. I tried to be supportive, but she always put me down for whatever reason. She even took the things I said in the wrong way all the time. She even admitted to talking bad about me to her friends because she felt it was warranted. Oh my goodness. Red flag. <laughs> After a while, I just went on about my business and not messaged her since it would be just hurting me and inflating her control ego. Till one day she messaged me in an annoying tone only to ask for money to fix her car which she let it slip that I was not the first person she asked for my help. Oh, so the kind of message she gave to him looked like it was like a copy pasta to many people, maybe? My heart sunk and I lost all feelings for her. Fast forward to late June and she went to Florida to visit a friend to go to Disneyland that I paid for. <laughs> At the end of her day, she messaged me wanting to tell me about it all. But I was asleep because it was late and I had to be up early because of work. I told her I will listen another time. But she was mad because I didn't listen then and there. Mind you, it's almost midnight for me. For the entire week, I didn't say nothing until the end of the week. And she was in a bad mood to hear from me. Her reaction was to ignore me for two weeks, which at this point, I stopped caring. Fast forward to a week after the 4th of July, and I was planning to visit her only to find her ghost me. At this point, I wanted to cut ties with her. One friend told me to stick it out with her for the long run. But at this point, I couldn't find a reason to. Dude, this girl is using him. And he like ghosted him even and like he paid for some of her things already. 
Time passed on and she would beg me for money and badmouth me all the time. Even my in-game friends would start ignoring me or looking at me like I'm the plague. At this point, even me as a peaceful guy could not take any more. So I started planning to break it off with her, which I did earlier this year and it felt good. I went to talk to an old mutual friend who I'll call Bunny. And after we talked and exchanged some info, we both learned, learned that she cheated and used me since May. Bunny took matters into her own hands and informed their group circle about what happened between Rena and I. Bunny also told them that there is proof of what really happened. This led Rena from being kicked from her FC and her having to change servers, but this also made her catch hate from others. She transferred to my server and tried to start trouble and get me kicked from my FC, but I forewarned my FC and told them about her to prevent it from happening. My new girlfriend that is in the same FC as me even stepped in and ripped into her with some powerful choice of words, even going as far as telling her new boyfriend, the leader of the FC she joined, to watch her because she would cheat on him in a heartbeat without a second thought. Update. From what I heard, she has lost about 80% of her friends and about to lose her boyfriend. Plus, her static is starting to fall apart after hearing what she had done. So now she is getting the karma she deserves. As for me, I'm enjoying all my time with my new girlfriend. She brings so much joy and happiness to my life and I plan on visiting her for Christmas and New Year's. The end. <laughs> the ending kind of like for me when I read it. It was very like, okay, it sucks that this definitely happened to him where this girl came along and like used, played around with him, asked for money. He gave in and gave her money. Um, there's probably a few cases like this that happen all the time on the internet. Guys just like spending money on girls. They think that probably like them, but they're just using them. So it sucks that happened. In the end, it felt like he got someone better. The ending, I felt it was very like, look, at this is my new girlfriend. And then the, the Rena girl was like, this is my new boyfriend. And it was like, my new girlfriend's better. And then she was like, my new boyfriend's better. That's <laughs> what it felt like in the end. As long as both parties are just like not involved with each other and they're both happier, I'm all for that. Even though she was his... Uh, were they girlfriend and boyfriend? I don't know if he really established that, did he? Maybe they were girlfriend and boyfriend. Okay, to his mind, it was girlfriend and boyfriend. But like, to the girl's mind, she didn't care. And it, it just seems so one-sided if one person is just like... You haven't met and stuff, and then you're just like sending this girl money and then she ghosts you when you go to see her too like oh my god that's so many red flags and she was treating you like shit already in the game before even trying to see her there was a lot of red flags already <laughs> a girl eh <laughs> yeah what if it was a dude <laughs> like how do you really trust people online you know how do you they show you a picture do you really think it's them like you give them the benefit of the doubt, but you never know in the end of the day. So you tend to avoid relationships on MMORPGs. Long distance is the worst idea. And yeah, like, like yeah, these are all online people. How do you really trust them? You just keep it like friendship, friendship bases. And I think you, you won't really have any problems. <laughs> I met a girl on WoW 10 years ago. She was a, a smoke show IRL. And we met and dated for two years. Oh, I mean, yeah, like there are success stories for sure. But there's a lot of unsuccessful stories. <laughs> I've seen it happen the other way around too, FYI. I haven't seen, but I've heard that there's this guy who plays Final Fantasy 14 and a girl pays him money to hang out with him. Uh, to hang out with him. Yeah, it's like, whoa. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this Final Fantasy XIV drama story. If you have any of your own drama stories that you'd like me to share and read out anonymously, feel free to reach out to my Discord, discord.gg patra. And if you would like to support the content by tipping, feel free to join and become a YouTube member with some perks.